Hey everybody, welcome back to our fledging, fledgling little city. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a rough time out here. There's a couple of things that we need to prioritize right now. We have an upcoming temperature drop, which is going to put us into the chilly zone, I believe. I believe that's going to happen. Um, we're going to run out of coal there. We have two... So we have four automatons right now. One at the steel, one at this coal, one at this coal mine, one at this coal mine. Uh, the steel is probably not a huge priority. We have 134 of it, and these guys aren't carrying anything. Fine. Uh, the factory, to make another automaton, requires steam cores, but we are hunting for that out here. Misty Valley or Southern Pass, we were told to search for steam cores there. We have a snow crawler there. That could be fruitful as well. Uh, but some of the main issues are going to be getting enough coal. We're really being sketch for wood here. I can get to 20 wood, and that is not great. Let's be honest. One thing I might do to conserve some power is switch these all to daytime hours so that these things, well, I guess we'll see. The cookhouse, yeah, even that's fine. Just run that during daytime. Uh, I think I might go into extended shifts on the workshops. I may even want to build additional workshops. Is that a thing I should do? Maybe not right now, because I really need the wood. Oh, nice. There are steam cores there. Let's go. Let's do a little pass back through here, I think. Mind you, how many do I have? Absolutely none. And after the wall drill, I am going to need one. <sighs> okay. Okay, well, let's do this. We'll send this guy back to the city. If we find more here, I can stop him and redirect him. But that's the play for now. Okay. Now, this going to charge at these hubs, this is something... Well, okay, what's interesting is they do charge when they're off. That's kind of cool. I wonder... This is 20 steel, and I actually have quite a bit. I wonder if I place one out here and just keep it off. Will they go and charge there? I could place it in the middle so that these this group can come and do it. I'm willing to give it a try. Now, the thought process here is that at, at, during the time that this is off, these will fall. But during the time that they're on, this will rise. Uh, once we get the extended shifts, actually, yeah. Then I could run these for additional hours. Like so. And then in here, we're going to go extended hours to get our research done a little faster. Wall drill, yeah. We need that ASAP, dude. So my thought is, we build this, it looks like they're charging with this off. So I'm going to turn it off and see if they'll use it. Look at... That's sick. I don't know how that works, but it does work. Coal and steel, so not even any steam cores, actually. We have to scout the planes. Okay. That's not great. So I guess we go here, then. I don't know how effective this is. Like, I'm running this in, in full speed, right? Or, or max speed. So when we do that, um, things are kind of amplified. But I do feel like just the fact that I can get it done while it's off is pretty nice. I don't have a temperature drop in the coming timeline. So that's cool. This gathering post is now dead. So that's going to free up a whole bunch of workers for us. Which I can use to maybe fill another factory... I'm at 24 wood. Huge success. Okay. Automaton project is complete. Automatons can now be produced at a lower cost and used in medical facilities. We learned to modify the automatons with precision attachments, allowing them to work on the most fragile thing we know of, the human body. 
We can remove some non-essential parts. So they can be used at medical facilities, and the cost of automatons falls by 5%. Interesting. Okay. Do I want to do that? I mean, ultimately, they want us to have at a minimum five automatons. Two in coal, two in steel, one in wood, one in raw food. So I actually, like, we have the workers, so I'm fine with not uh, doing that. I could build a public house and employ some people there. But do I want to spend my wood on that? No. No, I don't. I want to save for this wall drill. So I need the steam cores back. And I need 20 wood. So I'm like right there. Which means I also can't queue up any research. Unfortunately. So let's just turn this off. For right now. Hold off on research, but what am I going to research next is the question. I'm definitely not going to go automaton scouts. I can't see myself sending people out there. We got this because of that thing, which is fine, I guess. Generator range, I don't think I'm going to focus on. Maybe heaters would be a quick little grab. Because that would get us through one temperature drop. Although we don't see one on the timeline. But again, I need I need trees, so I just have to be patient here. Now, what is this guy doing? Nothing. Oh, the coal thing is done. Okay. So what could I have you do for right now? I guess I could put you in the in the medical post, and you can work 24 hours on that. I'm fine with it. Uh, it does seem like our strategy of having these on that 14-hour work day is heating these up enough, which is cool. I'm, I just it sucks that I'm waiting these 17 hours for a steam core. A little bit of unfortunate planning. How could I possibly heat all these homes right now? I can't address this right now. One thing I could do to buy us a bit of time, I suppose is I could do the sawmill research and then build it. But then by the time that's done, the steam core is going to be here. And I could just build the good one. So yeah, I'm just going to eat it. I'm just going to eat the bad planning for now. Go into my book of laws and... Care house, organic fertilizer in the hothouses... I assume, oh, this is an ability. Three bodies will be used to enrich the soil and speed up plant growth. Okay, so that's an active, but I need to three bodies. I don't even have that. Let's go moonshine. And actually, let's switch over to standard meals here as well. Let's go standard meals so that there's less discontent. Oh man, this just this really hurts the this hurts the ego, this hurts the OCD, this hurts the planning, this just hurts. And that hurts too, because it's just empty. Frozen pond, let's go. Maybe food, I guess. Four hours and I'll get that steam core and then I can build a uh, a thing. A wall drill. We do have a couple temporary modifiers that are gonna drop. All right, let's immediately do a wall drill. Oh, wow, okay. I got one spot. Do I even need a road if I'm going to put an automaton there? Let's see. Now get back out. Let's go southern pass for you. I only have four wood, so I can't connect it anyways. Alright, so that's done. Now what we'll do is take the automaton out of the medical post. Put the automaton there. Frozen pond. Nothing. Wow, this is rough. Wrecked vehicle. Could be cores. Could be automaton. But I don't want to just beeline away from this, so I'm going to just do a little bit of a circle here, I think. 
It says it's inoperative. And that seems to be the case. Okay, so it does need to be connected. Um, wow, okay. Do I have any redundant streets? I do, actually. Wow, are we ever just calling her close? Wood is coming in, guys. Wood is coming in. Okay. We do have a temperature drop coming now, so I'm thinking I'm just going to snag these heaters. Turn these on. Turn these on. Let's just grab this as an emergency. Fail safe. And then I'm also, I'm going to start ramping up my workshops here. We're out of wood, I'm aware, unfortunately. Steel's almost maxed. Let's put some engineers there. I'm gonna need some people in the cookhouse during the day. And then I'll have five available to go into the other factory or other workshop. We're going to run these extended hours as well. Raw food. Okay. Not a lot, but better than nothing. It's nice. Okay. Well, what's interesting is even when they're charging, it's still bringing in wood. So, I'm not sure if, like, if this is actually necessary, but whatever. Okay, you guys let me know. What do I want next? Care house, probably. That's a nice one. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Should I build the public house? This reduces discontent. I probably should. One of the main issues here is that um, I don't have a ton of workers if I want to keep the, the workshops going. Maybe this is a little too crazy for workshops. What is this? Stuck automaton. Automaton has entangled itself hopelessly in its assigned building. We can't free it without at least partially dismantling one or the other, and that means shutting down the automaton or the building. Something will be shut for 12 hours. I don't really have free workers right now, but we do have 99 wood, so I will shut down the wall drill itself, and then I will free up this and move the automaton over there. So by 2 a.m., I'm going to remember to fix that. Heaters are researched. Nice. There's some wood at the Southern Pass. What else do we have? Snowy Hill. Let's go. And I think I'm going to go drafting machines so I can get into generator efficiency, coal mining optimization. We got to get to steam coal mines, I think. Bunkhouse would be nice. Let's go, let's go drafting machines here. Serious accident. Oh my god. There's been an accident. Automaton has stepped on a man, <laughs> crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that automatons should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. Efficiency of automatons drops by 10. Not a chance. Discontent's gonna rise. Automatons remain a threat. Do I have prosthetics? Oh, I could do prosthetics next. All right. And then I could uh, queue one up in here. There's probably an optimal number of automatons. And like, obviously, we need at least this many. We need at least five.
Okay. Public house. This guy's back to making rations. Coal wise, we're okay. 2 a.m. This goes back on. So you're done with that, buddy. Get over there. Put a few workers in there. Public house is too cold. Oh, yeah, because that runs at weird hours, eh? So this would be one per hour. If I run this, 24 hours. I can't see the... Oh, here. Three coal per hour. All right. That's cheaper. Supply trailer. St oh, nice. Steam cores and steel. Beautiful. Let's go supply depot here. All right. Automaton. Waiting for workers. Where is my automaton then? All right. We're building. We're building. I do need a care house. Get to work. Base heating too. Plenty to do. Let's run that. Snowy hill. Explore that. Nothing to do here. Snowbound dreadnought. Let's go there. Drafting machines done. Love that. Okay. Okay. Lighter sleds would be nice, but I think if I go coal mining optimization, generator efficiency optimization, that gets our coal running a little bit better. I think. This boosts our steam coal mines as well. Or, or I just go crazy and get to here and go straight to steam coal mines. That, that's going to be a significant boost. This is at 100 trees. I think I'll do that. Is that crazy? I don't know. It could be. A letter of thanks. My workers asked me to deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry, but here's the gist. They want to thank you, sir. The sight of the automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold where previously they toiled and suffered is something worth living for. Yeah, okay. So they're actually happy for once. That's pretty cool. I'm going to beeline it. I'm going to beeline it. Did I mention I'm going to beeline it? Now, at the public house, what's the difference if I have, like, what's the difference on the number of workers I have there? I'm not quite sure. Time to rest, folks. All right. Okay, three hours I could sign that in. Care house heater. Discontents dropping, that's nice. Okay, let's go into prosthetics. And then we can chuck this on. I just need one right now. And I'll take from the public house. Put in here. Public house closes. Well, it's closed now. I'll turn off the heater. Although, if it's closed, I don't, I don't think it would be working. Ooh, hello. Coal, steam cores, and steel. That's a really nice find. How much stuff are we carrying here? 
hearing a lot. We're all over the place, too. Let's go isolated shelter. This is a main objective, so I should maybe knock out an automaton as well in the factory. Raw food and wood. That's decent. Let's go hollow. A figure in the distance. We noticed something in the distance. A small black dot in the white desert moving slowly towards us. It's possible it might be a survivor. Okay, now... Okay. Okay, whoa. Yeah, we have one dude coming. Sick. Temperatures are going to drop. We're in the chilly zone now. But that's without the heaters engaged. So I think we're okay still. I think. I think we're okay there. Oh, turn this on. That may that would maybe maybe help. Let's get a prosthesis going. Steam coal mine. I need two cores to build one too. Okay. So I need to bring one of those cores back. I guess after we go to the isolated shelter, I'll run him back to the city. I can still build, so I, I won't build a an automaton with that. Core will upgrade one of these. This can now be shut off. And we can fill this place. For some rations. Actually, this could get turned on. Yeah, maybe I'll stick to soup here. Wood seems fine. Wood is not an issue. Cores are clearly the limiting factor here. 14 hours left on this. So, yeah, we're a little bit over... Okay, I'm glad we went steam coal mines here. This is all fine. This guy's going all the way over there because that one was in use. Now, if I have, like, look, I have a lot of steel. I'm just going to put one there and turn it off. Isolated shelter. More steam cores. Damn. Oh, shit. Are we closing in from the top here? Pardon my uh, French. What's this? Store. Oh, man. I didn't know these guys had storage capacity. That's cool. Steam coal mines. Let's go. Very nice. Let's go. Upgrade that. Wrap up well. The frost is here. Okay. The frost is hitting. So these need to be on. Okay. I'm gonna... And they need workers. Will this guy build? Yes. Oh boy. This scenario is a whole other level of stress that I do not enjoy. Wow. Exhausted man has reached our city, badly frostbitten, with a harrowing story to tell. Said he's come from a nearby city called New Manchester. It's inhabited mostly by workers and their families, but their resources are running out and they're in trouble. Fearing the coming storm, they sent a scout team to look for help. He's the sole survivor. He begs us to help. We must find out more. Expedition camp. 12 days finding the way. Scout Frostland and New Manchester before the storm. Now, notice as well, we have another temperature drop. So I'm either need to, I'm going to need to go like advanced heating or something. The man who arrived is in critical condition. If he doesn't get help, he'll die. He could be our only chance to learn more about the other city. 
So we need to make sure these are running. And, uh, oh, this is not getting hit by this. Oh, it is. It's just not good enough. So we'll run those. Survivors reach the city. They're tired. They'll need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps some medical attention, but they are ready to lend a hand whoever they can. We're talking about that one guy. Okay. Looks like I need a prosthesis. Let's get my worker there. Helping at what cost? Some of our people are restless. They argue that with the storm closing in, we won't be able to succeed in our mission and help New Manchester. They understand it's a difficult decision, but they want to know what your priority will be when we have to choose. Can't abandon people in need. Discontent goes up. Or I won't endanger our mission. I mean, discontent's a bit lower. Let's let's say this. And we will we will try to save them. New research here. Okay, trees are actually full. So I should build some storage. Um, if I go... Maybe uh, generator efficiency, 10% less coal. And then I can go to better heaters here. Okay, nice. So that's done. This we're going to turn off. It's so interesting that they still charge from that. Where's my worker? Oh, he's in treatment. <laughs> uh, yeah. That sounds about right, doesn't it? A note of thanks. Someone left a note at the carousel that reads, Thank you. With all the work we have to do, it's so hard for families to properly care for an invalid. Places like this make life a little easier for us all. All right. I'll tell you what. Make a few extra. Oh, you're just... Hold on. Nothing to do there. Icefall mine, wrecked vehicle. Let's do that. I need to head in this direction. So after this drop-off, we're going to send him out east. Finish your labors, people. Work Run this just to finish. 10% less coal. I like it. I like it. Coal mining optimization. Make sure we have the coal coming in. Okay, now it's closed. Oh, whatever. So they'll finish that up tomorrow. These places, whatever. This place does need a heater. Okay. Book of Laws. Hmm. <laughs> Hope will fall, but we could further lower discontent there. I really don't want people to die. I'll sign that, but like I don't even have... Listen, New law is signed. I don't have a ton of workers, right? Okay, what a sick drop-off. Let's go to the expedition camp. And let's build the other steam coal mine. Okay. Seems good. Now this does say that the heater is on. So if I look in the... Uh, and, and it's closed, right? Oh, it's because this is off. But it's also outside of ours. So one thing I'm curious about is, if I'm looking at the cookhouse in here for consumption. Yeah, it's on, but um, it's burning zero per hour because it's not operational. Okay, good. Let's get our upgrade here. These guys are coming out in the cold to do this. Now I'm going to need, you can see clearly, we need storage.
And having some extra coal, I don't think is a bad thing. Looks like coal and wood. So I'll give wood there. Can't believe I'm hitting a coal limit. That's nice. Coal and steel. Good. Let's go here to the icefall mine. <sighs> All right. We have two steam coal mines up and running. That is a significant boost for us. Very, very nice. Coal mining optimization. Then I have to go heaters, I think. Or some type of heating. The messenger lives. We saved the life of the survivor. He's thankful even though we had to amputate his arm. Thank you. If I was in New Manchester, I'd have died. We don't have the means to save victims to deep frostbite. His city is underdeveloped. Okay, so he's finding some wood there. A broken vehicle is next. All right. Um, so those are all done. Let's get a an automaton out. Long hours of toil. They're worn out. You have to keep regular shifts everywhere. No. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Can't happen. Coal mines are 10% more efficient. Love to see it. Now. I go generator power or I go improved heaters. Coal consumption is tripled when using this setting. But it's doubled here, so it's like, okay. Consumes one coal per hour or two coal per hour. See, like, the range I'm not so concerned about. I don't feel like that's a great buy for me. Unless I have to get it to get this. This is probably the safer pick right now. So let's make sure we have that. It's nice that we got these built before nighttime. And then when I pop out an automaton here, I'll have some other options. Let's run that. Oh, this is not getting hit by this. Is it getting hit by this? It is. Okay. So we'll keep that 24 hours then. Just so that the public house is open. It seems like we can handle the coal. Let's put another coal thing there. That's pretty nice. Let's do that as well then. Okay. Wait, so this is... Oh, this is outside the hours. This is a weird bug. I, f I wish they would fix that. More steam cores, okay? Damage... Oh, this is an interesting choice. Let's go here. I feel like that's potentially steam cores. Do I need another prosthesis here? I'll wait till that's done. People are definitely sick, though. Coal and steel, okay. And that's it there. Now, do I run this way back to the snow dune? Three days. One day, 11 hours. Then I could hit the snow dune. I'm a little concerned about, like, that cold coming in. Looks like we have 10 days before a storm is going to hit, so we have to find... Yeah. So what are we carrying on us here? decent amount of stuff. Bringing that back would be nice. I have five cores at the moment. All right, I'm going to I'm going to try and get everything there that I can see. All the cogs are oiled. Improved heaters, okay. Heater efficiency actually. I don't hate that. Do I? <laughs> Do I hate that? Do I need to go into steam wall drills? Like, my wood seems pretty good right now. Um, the biggest concern I have is keeping up with the heating 
as our temperatures keep dropping. So I do feel like I I need that. Um, I'm going to go difference engine. Either one will help, right? This is going to use more coal, but I can afford the coal now. So maybe I'll just grab that. Play it safe. And Book of Laws. You know what? I don't know if I'm going to do any of this. I don't want people to die, so I, d I definitely don't want fights. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to pick anything else, I don't think. Wow. It's crazy. What do I have? Oh, I have my worker. I can put you there. Did I finish the automaton? I did. Okay, so let's get you employed here then. That fulfills autonomous city requirements. The city's autonomous. Nice. Seedling arcs are now being safely maintained by the automatons. All critical operations are secured. We still have time to spare before the storm hits. If we have a shot at surviving, we have to gather supplies. Okay, so what do I need here? Find new Manchester. I need to build five more houses, disband expeditions, gather 8,000 coal, and 500 food rations. Okay, 500 food rations could be interesting. But perhaps doable. Uh, 8,000 coal, that's like, that's intimidating AF. I'll probably need to increase some storage stuff through the research tree, but... Yo, I don't know. I'll max out the food, and I'll max out the public house for workers that I have. Now, hold on. Oh, that's right. So once these are on, I can't just... Like, I can't toggle it down to the lower amount. It does look like our, our consumption is solid here, though. It does look pretty good. Okay, so now generator power is going up to three. That's going to change things for sure. But that boosts all of the uh, steam hubs action as well. So that's actually more than enough. Let's run that and turn this off. So chili is good. Uh, let's run that and turn this off. And we'll run this and turn this off. Yeah. Okay. This is good. This is good. I just feel like every decision is a very crucial decision, and I don't like the stress that this brings me. I don't like the stress. This could get us more food. Significantly more food. Um, okay. Prosthesis costs five steel less to make. Don't care. Automatons, 20 wood, 20 less steel to make. Don't really care. I wish I could see what some of these are. Automaton integration, boost efficiency by 10%. That's pretty solid. Hothouse and bunkhouse I probably need. But we do have the heat to offset the bunkhouse requirements right now. I am tempted for the steam wall drill, but I actually don't know if I need that. It seems like my wood is fine, but I could also go into like a charcoal kiln at some point. Steam steelworks maybe would be good. Looks like I don't even need cores for these. So that's kind of a nice option. I'm going to do this. Automaton integration. Then, uh, man, I wish I could just queue stuff. Okay, we are actually are dropping temps pretty rapidly here in the next couple days. But we're at Chile, 
So I turn this on. That's going to increase this by two. And then when this one hits, we should actually still be neutral with our current heaters up until the end of this day. Right? I think so. I think so. In terms of housing... We need these all being hit by heaters. That'll work. All right, guys, I think we're in a pr I think we're in a pretty okay position. We have a plan, just time to execute the plan. Let's take a break here. I can gather my thoughts, come up with any other adjustments, but I'm pretty sure um, what I just laid out is going to be okay for us. I do have this place that's not operational right now. Uh, I'm worried about... I think, I think what's interesting is we have to balance our steam core usage on buildings and automatons, right? But what I do like when I look in here... This steel works. The better one doesn't need um, more cores, so that's kind of cool. But this tells me my current exact situation. I should probably pop out another automaton. This place is going to close right away. So hold on. Let me go until it's closed. Pop them out of here. Pop them into here. And tomorrow we fix that up. Okay. Guys, wish me luck. <laughs> Bye for now.